The line graph is similar to the real-time graph in that it plots tag values over time. The real-time graph plots one tag as it changes over time. For example, if I change this temperature tag to a 10 and a 50 and a 75, back to a 23, you can see this graph is scrolling from right to left. The line graph, on the other hand, plots a group of tags all at once. Each periodic update shows all of the tags at the same time. There's no scrolling effect. You specify a starting tag, in this case temperature, and the line graph plots that one and however many more you request. I requested 10 total in this example, so you can see that here. You may have noticed that when I changed that temperature tag, only the first position on this line graph changed. Watch, I'll change it to 100. And it bumped up. If I change it back down to 50, bumps down, down to 25. So just that one point is changing, and it goes down to 0 for the next one. So here's the next one right here. Let's change him to 50. And let's change his neighbor to 75. Let's change his neighbor to 23. And his neighbor to 44. His neighbor to 33, etc. You get the idea. I don't need to do all of these. Now, every second this is updated, and all 10 tags are updated at the same time. For example, if I change this 23 now to a 55, you'll see this one point pop up. Let's do an example to see how to set this up. Double click or drag the line graph onto the screen. We'll use the temperature tag as the pen in this screen. But remember, we're not just plotting the one tag. We're plotting this one plus several more. How many? We'll go back to the General tab. You'll see we're plotting 10 points per chart. If you go back and look at the pen, you can see it's going to start at address DS500, which is the address of this temperature tag, plus nine more words. Other than that, this is nearly identical to the real-time graph. All the same formatting, all the same triggers and refresh rates, uh, dynamic range versus regular range. You can see the video on real-time graphs to learn how to use all those. For now, we'll just hit OK, simulate this, and see what we've done. And here we have our simulator. If we just modify a couple values real quick, like we did before, you can see them pop up on the screen. So the line graph is just plotting a series of 10 tags in real time all at once. While we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the color version of this. I'll go to the Panel Manager, flip us over to the 4-inch color screen. I'll keep things at the same resolution. And there's our graph. The only difference now is that all of your black and white colors have a lot more options. Uh, object colors, text colors, but the main difference is you now have eight pens you can use instead of just two that we had for black and white. Other than that, the color version is exactly the same as the black and white. We'll throw a couple in here real quick just so we can see what that looks like. And temperature three. You can see that each one is occupying nine or ten total words or ten total tags. This one's going from 500 plus nine, 520 plus nine, and 540 plus nine. We'll say OK. Let's make the graph a little bigger so we can see it. Simulate it. Save the project, and up pops the simulator. So now I have temperature, temperature 2, temperature 2 plus his 9, and you have to scroll down to see the rest, temperature 3 plus his 9, and there's temperature plus his 9. If I can put some random values in here, I'm just making stuff up. I have no idea where I'm putting them. We're going to see what happens. And you get the idea. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out all of the other videos in this series. And as always, please send us any topics you would like to see covered, or any other comments for that matter. We really appreciate your feedback.